nervous as heck right now. This is not easy. We didn't use call that drip and he called it Saturday night. I'm learning a ton from this experience. It could be fun and funny, actually. Let me climb onto this rocket ship. It'll be a long day, I think. Not yet. The machine right here. Based on the incredible Xbox 360 video game, this is Forza Motorsports Showdown. Now, the game is real. Let me get you caught up. Angela Cope stunned everybody when she started the day by taking our first event, the drags. I think everybody's a little bit iffy at first. Can't you do it? Probably not. Drag strip proved him wrong. In the second event, the road course, Team 13 had to start the race two laps back due to a faulty fuel gauge. So I really don't want to say that this guy's put gas in the car. What are you going to do? That was just the beginning of the fun. The Challenger tossed its drive shaft through the floor pan, and the Camaro was plagued by electrical problems. Anybody have a pair of pliers? So the final event became a two-man race between Ken Gushi <laughs> and Chase Meyer. He's playing games with you. Gushi gave it everything he had, including a couple drifts through turn 10 in his underpowered 350Z. And he's off-roading it, drifting it at 100 yeah. miles an hour. But horsepower and Meyer's patiently aggressive tactics took the big race by three tenths on a course that team owner Lou Gelati has raced and won many times. Excellent job. Scare the hell out of me. With that and a second place at the drags, Team 21 took top honors for the day. This awarded them 180 credits to be used to purchase upgrades, and it awarded them a stay at the presidential suite at the Chateau Elan. This is the presidential suite? Well, your house. Last place dishonors went to Clarence Barnes and Team 7, and they got to stay at what we now call Chateau Le Dump. Is there a shower in here? I think we'll take it. There's three of us and only two beds. Today and tonight, it's upgrades to the cars because tomorrow, game on. Let's get to the speed shop. Well, today is the uh, second day of the event. Uh, today's a modification day. We can modify the cars based on our credits. Hook me up with a 3-8 drive, short extension. Hopefully, we can buy some upgrades that will uh, allow us to hold our position. OK, LG, first place overall. Get you 180 credits. You guys came in second in the drag. First in the road race. Very nice job. How'd the car run? Man, excellent. Uh, but we have to prepare for the uh, next events coming up, and it's going to take some modifications. Well, we got the, uh, the LG4 long tube headers, and we also bought the hood and the wing and the splitter. OK, air ride. Second place overall, total of 140 credits. Got the first in the drag, came in fourth in the road course, because what happened? Fuel gauge went out, and we ran out of fuel, so. There's no gas in it. No gas in it. She charmed them. They were under her trance, and they forgot. Decided that to go the best way to make the car a little bit faster is to do suspension first and then uh, do the brakes. Very important. They give me the car, they put everything in it, I'll drive it. They give me the best, I'll make it the best. Okay, Royal Purple. You guys got 90 credits? It's probably the slowest out of the group. That car only makes about 287. We need to be up somewhere around 400. Between the turbo and the brakes, I think both are pretty essential to our style of driving. We turned road racing into a drift event. Kenny did. He went so deep into 10, I was like, where did he come from? Why stop when you can just go woo right through? Since we're really down on power right now, and we're trying to make up that power loss by breaking in later than usual. This is a turbocharger, probably the best modification we could do. Get used to seeing the back end of our car. Okay, Team Godfather 350Z, you guys have 80 credits. You guys are in fourth place. Nice, safe job yesterday. Doing our first mod, we just opt for uh, brakes instead of pullovers. Uh, we think it handled really well. Uh, just having a problem stopping the car. So if we can get this thing stopped, I think we'll be a little more competitive uh, from here on out. And uh, one of our major upgrades, of course, is the uh, turbocharger. Get the gas, get that beast out of them. We got we to get old Freddy fired up here. So. Yeah. 
Okay, gear one Camaro. You guys got 80 credits, you're in fifth place. What happened yesterday? The Camaro had fuel pump issues, otherwise it was running fantastic. Nothing catastrophic, so we're here today fixing everything, getting ready for race day tomorrow. Power's good on the car. We're fixing the reliability. We need, uh, we need handling and brakes. We're trying to get it to crank with the mechanical pump. No fuel pressure, so if this one doesn't work, we're going solar powered. Working on my journal. I'm about three or four days behind. I'm trying to get you up here in about two minutes. Day one, everything went great. Day two, everything went great. Day three, everything went great. Day four, I had to touch the indigestion. And day five, got the big coach. Okay, year one challenger. Pretty awful job yesterday. I can't get it in here. That thing, you know what, if it did stay in first gear, we might have won something, okay? But no, we took our drags in overdrive. We got brakes and tires. We got a bigger uh, wheelwood brakes and uh, KD tires instead of these KDWs uh, try to give us a little bit more traction on the road course. I have to go dust off the transmission parts and um, see what other type of upgrades our competitors are doing right now. There are some calipers in there big enough to stop the space shuttle. It's intimidating if you just look at it. I know, I'm kind of scared too. You guys are excited and they're working hard and hopefully uh, we'll get this all done sometime today, tonight. Get out ready and check them out. Today, our first mod day. It's interesting because pretty much everyone uh, has a real fun spirit of racing. We're gonna do some more air dynamic uh, modifications to the car. Like I said, pretty much. I, I've noticed one team uh, in particular, one team is taking it really serious. I'm not here to lose on the racetrack. Lou's crazy. Any of these drivers come in with a black eye, you know, you know they made a messed up, so. Definitely crazy. <laughs> well, it's not how you play the game. It's uh, winning and losing is really all that matters. Welcome to the Forza Motorsport 2 Pit Pass. Your behind-the-scenes look at the game that inspired Forza Motorsport Showdown. Each week during the Forza Motorsport Showdown, I'll be giving you a sneak peek into the game. This week, we're going to talk about car customization. Forza Motorsport 2 features thousands of real-world body kits that can be mixed and matched on your car. You can not only add performance upgrades and real-world body kits, you can also personalize your car in the paint and decal shop. You can apply over 4,000 different decals and vinyls on your car. Each layer can be resized, reshaped, or placed anywhere you want. Whether you are recreating your favorite race-inspired paint scheme or creating something completely new, the options are near limitless. Once you've personalized your car, you can take it onto Xbox Live to compete in online tournaments or just race around with your friends. You can also share it over Xbox Live using our new in-game auction house. Stay tuned for more Forza Motorsport Showdown. And later, we'll be showing a cinematic trailer for Forza Motorsport 2.